we're going to graph y equals x squared plus 4. And on the left here, I have the graph of y equals x squared on its own. The difference between these two graphs is that this one has been shifted up four units. This is a vertical translation up by four. That means that the vertex, which was originally at zero, zero, is now at zero comma one, two, three, four, four units higher than it was. These points, negative one and one, comma, one, also get shifted up four units. So one, two, three, four, and this one goes to one, two, three, four. Look how the arrangement is the same. From here, I go over one and up one in either direction. Over one and up one in either direction. You wouldn't be allowed to do that if there was a stretch of some kind, but there isn't. All that's happening here is a shift. This point at negative two comma four needs to go four higher to eight. So there's a point at negative two comma eight. This point, which was at the same height, also goes to eight. And these points, negative three comma nine, get shifted up four units, but then that's off my grid, so I'm good. I'm, I'm kind of done there. So this is my graph of x squared plus 4. Please note, it's the same graph, but this has been moved up 4. I realize it looks shorter, but that's just because we lost everything from like here up by doing the shift, right? Those look like the same size. These would continue going on if my grid was bigger, but they're not, so I won't. Hope that made sense to you. Best of luck.